I was kind of scared of what I was doing to my body because of how my sugars were reacting. And so I wanted to educate myself so that I could actually have like a more fulfilling, like balanced life. My name is Charmaine and I'm the dietitian that helps people reverse type 2 diabetes with plant-based eating and this is Douglas um, who's one of our participants in our reversing diabetes program. You can say hi to everyone Douglas. Everybody. It's funny being on one of these things live but I'm looking forward to it. Okay awesome awesome. Well Douglas what made you reach out to me in the first place? I saw your videos on TikTok as I was trying to learn how to manage what I thought at the time was my type 2 diabetes. Um, I had worked with my endocrinologist, but I wasn't really making the progress that I wanted to in terms of my dietary changes. And I didn't feel like I had sufficient information from them. So when I came across your videos, you know, I'd like the way that you explain things, first of all, because at that time I was trying to understand what insulin resistance was. And I think you explained it so incredibly well in, in one specific video where you talked about like the lock and the key thing. So I was really impressed and then I went to your website and I was like, oh, I can actually work directly with them. I would love to. So that's kind of how I came across you. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Douglas, I know, you know, working with you, you are a super motivated. You are, you know, a geek in, in science. And yeah, yeah. What's your why and what's your motivation? What do you say? I would say that I struggled with management of diabetes. It's for me, it was like a very out of control feeling. Mm -hmm. um, and when I, like I had a really bad A1C right before I started working with you. And so it kind of scared me into revisiting how to take a little bit more control of that. Mm -hmm. Because I was finding that I was having a hard time in all aspects of life because I, I couldn't enjoy social situations. I was afraid. I was kind of scared of what I was doing to my body because of how my sugars were reacting. And so I wanted to educate myself so that I could actually have like a more fulfilling, like balanced life. Mm -hmm. And so that was really why I was like, I'm willing to do whatever I need to, to get the education to actually understand this so that I can make permanent changes. Awesome. Awesome. And how has it been, you know, transitioning your lifestyle? I know it's very different, right? Um, mm -hmm. With this lifestyle, it's way higher in carbs. So how has it been for you? How do you feel? I feel the best I've ever felt by far. And, you know, it's been amazing talking to you and Galia about just having that resource there, because I, I, I think another key part is that I couldn't have done this without like direct help from you because it's scary. You know, like even once you start to understand how, what kind of carbs you should eat or how much carbs you should have, like your body has to transition at first. And if you don't, know that there's like a like a change curve of like how you're going to react to it i feel like it's very easy to stop and say no i can't do that which is you know i read a lot about people who just stick on like the keto diet or whatever the case may be because they don't have it's it's less scary you know you don't see any spikes at first while your body adjusts and all that kind of stuff so i think having you guys as like a resource to lean on with all of my questions was incredibly helpful and probably the most important part of this whole thing but in terms of like the diet, you know, I think it's actually great. I think it's delicious. I cook all the time now. It's become a, a, a hobby of mine. And I, you know, I eat, I found the foods that work for me and I absolutely love them. And I, I really do feel way healthier than I've ever felt in my life. Awesome. I love that. I love that. And I think it's cool because every time, you know, in our consults, you always tell me that you have so much more energy and mm -hmm. you feel really good. And I think it's, it's crazy because I think a lot of times people are afraid to jump over that hump of dang, like I have to, yeah, carbs, like that's going to spike my blood sugar. Right. I think a lot and of it doesn't happen. And I mean, it's also been cool. Cause like I've had more consistent energy. Like I have no crashes mm -hmm. after I eat meals. Um, I've exercised more than ever and my stamina and like actually my strength has been more than ever. I've lost body fat. So like my physical performance is way better than it ever was too. And so, you know, previously I think I would have looked at things like, oh, I need to eat X amount of animal protein or whatever to maintain muscle mass and things like that. But that, that hasn't been true for me either. If anything, I've gained muscle on a plant-based diet. Amazing. Amazing. 
Yeah, that's really awesome. And I love that you are very active and you take care of your body and you do, you know, very, very good research. So I definitely really just enjoy conversating with you. Um, what would you say to someone who's on the fence about reversing their insulin resistance or on the fence about transitioning to a whole foods plant-based lifestyle? I think, I think for anybody, it's, you have to understand that there's a variety of different perspectives on plant-based eating or how to manage insulin resistance. Um, so even before you maybe take that leap, like look at both sides of it, like whether it's a keto diet, a plant-based diet, or just a balanced diet, like do some research on them and, and try to understand a little bit about how that actually, what that supposedly is doing. Um, one of the things for me that kind of encouraged me to actually buy into the, the plant-based was you know with the keto as far as like my perspective it was kind of masking a problem it was mm. eating foods that would avoid a potential spike which is great but that also sets you up for a variety of other issues associated with insulin resistance which for anybody once they get into it they'll realize that insulin resistance is a problem for way more than just diabetes and so mm. you know try to understand insulin resistance and what it is and i think once you do the concept of plant-based eating makes a whole ton of sense, along with ideas like exercising and decreasing inflammation. It get the pieces fit together. Um, so for me, that's what that's what helped me buy into it. And you know, and then there's all the other benefits. Like it, it feels good to like know that I'm not contributing to animal suffering and things like that. Like it's it it also works for a variety of other areas. But for me, the biggest thing was kind of understanding my own acceptance of like the science and, and how plant-based eating can actually improve things on an internal level more than even just the blood sugar. Yeah, I love what you said about just having the pieces fall together, right? I think that's why I'm, you know, I'm sure you too, um, me, Galia, all of us are so passionate about this lifestyle because it's not just about one thing about your blood sugar, right? Because right. I think a lot of times with the low carb lifestyle, your focus is on your blood sugar or your focus is on your weight, right? But I think with plant-based lifestyle, not only do you solve those problems with weight and blood sugar, like you also are able to, you know, focus on lowering cholesterol and lowering inflammation. It just helps yeah. with everything. So I definitely I mean, agree with you. Yeah, I think it's important for like acceptance of all perspectives. Like I think it's, you know, it's if somebody's doing whatever diet, like a keto diet, I think it's, and it's working for them and their their blood markers are good, mm -hmm. great. I, you know, like, I think it's important that neither camp kind of shuts mm -hmm. off the other one. I think it's just important to kind of say, here's why I think this is, this is good. And in my case, it's worked. And my lab values, you mentioned cholesterol, like my cholesterol is less than half of what it was before I started doing this. So like, I've seen it for myself and I, you know, it's proven to me that it, it really does work. Yeah, I love that. I love that. That's great. Is there anything else that you want to share with people that are watching before we wrap up? I would honestly, that you and Galia are like the most supportive, helpful people that like I could ever have hoped to come across. You know, like I've gone through a lot of kind of difficult times as, as this sort of journey has happened and having you two to talk to on a regular basis. And I can tell you actually really care about me as like an individual and it's really, really meaningful. And, and it's, it's been a massive thing. Like this has been like the best decision I think I've ever made is working with you two. So I think that's a huge part of it too, because you know, you can probably get education from a variety of sources, but it also matters who's providing it. You know, do they listen well? Are they good communicators? you have a good system in place to kind of guide people along so they can learn at a particular pace also. So I think the the actual framework that you've built to like to teach people how to do that is incredibly, it's just really, really well done. So I can't recommend it enough. Oh, I thank you so much, Douglas. That means a lot. And, you know, I can speak for Galia too. I think it's definitely our pleasure that we get to work with you. I think you're just a wonderful student, you know, you, and, and I think that's, that's what a lot of people don't get is you're going to get results if you put in the work. And I think, you know, Douglas, you're 
you know, you go way above and beyond and, you know, putting in the work, you do your own research. And I, I, I would say too, you know, for people that are considering whatever diets, like do your own research and do meta-analysis research, right? Yeah. Not just like short-term research, do meta-analysis to really figure out like what's, what's good for you because before you do something, right? Like you, you want to be well-informed and not just take my word for it, right? Yeah. And so anyways, I just really appreciate you, Douglas. Um, I think you're amazing and we're just excited to see you thrive. And for those of you that are curious to learn more about insulin resistance and you know what are the steps to reverse insulin resistance, you can check out my free training. The link will be in the description below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.